My name is Agar Prajapati. In this video, I will be solving one of the important question of Python. This question I have got from the LinkedIn post. So I thought to solve this question via different ways so that you will also get uh, get understand, you know, what are the multiple ways or to solve a single problem. I hope that you are liking this series. Before starting the uh, video or the chapter, I would introduce my channel or website here is the website of mine and here you can see we have multiple courses available here right like python interview questions then database by spark real-time scenarios logic app adf master in Git, then master in python courses also av available by spark interview series delta lake project databricks adf and to end project using azure data engineering so all these stuffs are already present in my website so i will give the link in the description so that you can go and you know uh, check out the course if you want if you you know if you wanna enroll in any of the course you can enroll it and the prices and the fees is at very affordable prices so you can go ahead cool now let's focus on this question so the question saying that is we have one list okay you can see sam 200 monu 100 z 300 sorry 30 then mukesh 50 nisha 99 and here we have to sort the above list with the numerical values in each string in ascending order okay so what what now the output should be like z 30 because 30 is very minimal right Fif then 50 is a minimal and then 90 and then 100 and then at the last 200 so i we want to sort the uh, the you know the above list based on the numeric value okay so let's see how we can do that so quickly i will create one function let's say def f underscore uh, sort list something like that here we will pass input list so i'll just write here input list now what i will be doing you know what we will be doing we will be you know iterating this list right we will be iterating this list so i'll do like this and here let me just write here print of i so that you will also understand what i am doing okay or what is my sorry what what is my approach so let me put it over here let me call this copy paste it over here and write lst cool now if i run this then you can see we have the data like this sam 200 moon 200 and so 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 now here what i will be doing you know i will be extracting extracting a uh, digits or numeric values from this string of each string okay like i will be extracting here uh, 100 then 30 then 50 then 99 and so on okay so here what i can do i can write for j in i right then i can write here print of i print of i if i write or if i write here print of j then you will see what will happen see if i write like this then we are getting one by one iteration you know one by one iteration i mean one one alphabetic reading so see we have written for i in input list so here here you know the first value of this list is sam 200 so sam 200 comes and sit in the place of i and then we are iterating one by one so here what i can do since i need to only extract the number so i can write here if else condition saying that if uh, j dot is digit so if it is di uh, digit right alphanumeric also we can uh, you know use if it is this then i am saying append in you know make one string okay make one string so uh, no yeah so i can write like this c is equal to c plus c plus of j cool and i will initialize c here cool here if i print j not j if i print here c and if i try to run this code then you will see we have 200 100 30 50 99 likewise if i print here i also then you will see we have you know 200 and then the you know the the, the original string from the list cool i hope that you are clear with this now what i will what actually we need to do we need to convert this integer into a string format right so i can do like this and here i will 
uh, you know append i mean i will append these things into a one new list so let's say i am using this l dot append l dot append uh, l dot append right and uh, here and i will create one list since we are appending it we are not painting anything so let me write here return l and since we are returning so i need to print the result also print the you know print the return value so now you can see the array or the list will look like this 200 sam 100 mono 100 30 so 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 right now let me just open it huh so now ideally we have to sort it on basis of first index you know this is zero index this is one index so mean mean means zero in on basis of zero index i need to sort the sort this list so how we can do we can use here lambda expression or lambda functions we can use so let's see how we can do okay cool uh, here i can write here l dot sort right uh, lambda x colon x of which index zero index right zero index say i have to sort it and okay it is not sorted what is the issue here x of this l dot sort right so if i use here a no positional argument okay now if i do this now you can see it is showing me 30 50 99 100 and 200 and based on that you know it sorted the uh, uh, sorted the array or the list right now our work is done but here we need to only print the numbers i mean uh, the string original string i need not need to print this 30 and all so what i can do so ideally what i can do since this is this right and i am printing this so i can what i can do i can write here loop right and i can only i can only you know i can only return one here you know and i will return this and i will make this as a string uh, as a list cool i hope it you understood this concept if you haven't then please watch out my previous videos of this series you will understand easily now you can see we have said i mean this is in a sorted order cool so this is one way to do now let's understand how we can you know optimize this see you can see over here that we are you know using two loops here so why i mean do we need to use the two loops or we can do in a single loop let's see let's copy mm. okay let's copy this and put it over here change the formula i mean the function let's say underscore one cool everything i will remove we do not need it here what i will do here what i will do we have regular expression right we have regular expression so i will use here re import re cool now again same thing input list iteration one by one and here i will use re dot you know i will try to use print uh, re dot what uh, you know i will use here search search is a function okay first parameter will be a pattern you know i need to write here pattern so what pattern i need i need you know numbers right it can come multiple times and should end with i mean the string should end with the you know with the numbers so i can put here dollar and here will be a i cool now if i copy this and if i print the same thing list of lst cool then now you can see it is printing like r match 3 2 6 4 2 7 this is the you know uh, the starting index and the end index like this 
and here you can see the match is 200 100 30 50 99 so if i need to get the that output right i need to get that match and all so ideally i need to use here group now you can see we have 200 100 30 50 99 right now what i will do see we are printing here right so i can initialize one loop or uh, you know i can write like this okay cool that's done now 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 bolo bolo now the same thing you know copy this put it over here put it over here right and this has to be in integer format right this has to be in integer format so here i will use integer int of this i will convert to integer and uh, first right first this will and second will be of will will be i right cool now you can see it printed the same output right so this is the way how we can solve the problems you know where different way maybe you know there could be a different or more optimized way to solve this problem if you have any solution you can paste it on the in our comment section and please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you are liking and you know getting some new information daily and daily and please go and visit to my website there are multiple paid courses which is available at very affordable price and around 200 members have have taken that those courses you know we i have around 10 courses on my website so please go out and you know you know take it out take enroll uh, the enroll yourself in, in those courses so that you will get you will gain some uh, you know new knowledge or you know some stuff like that chalo thank you bye bye we will meet you in the next lecture till then take care